Good morning, folks. We've got three items of interest today. We'll see a story about Arctic changes and seek to correct the article where we believe it goes wrong. We've got geomagnetic heart impact and, of course, the last 24 hours on our star. The lower activity continues despite the high sunspot number. C-class flares are the peak eruptive energy. The sunspots continue to pepper the earth-facing half of the sun and the plasma filaments between them are numerous as well. You'll get a bit closer look at those plasma filaments here. The biggest ones on the north and south have destabilization potential, but we'll be watching that closely today. Still a few more weeks until the expected uptick in the 3 and 5.9 month mini cycles is expected to kick in. In addition to the filaments, you can see there are a continuous train of sunspot groups coming. They have some bigger umbral cores, but they lack the peripheral sunspots that drive magnetic complexity. We'll continue to monitor that today as well. First up in the articles is from Sandia Labs, telling us about how the Arctic is changing so much more rapidly because of albedo loss, the melting sea ice allowing more sunlight energy to be absorbed rather than reflected back into space. This likely plays a small role, but at the same time, the winter ice recoveries in the Arctic have been pretty impressive, including this year, and the Arctic ice extent isn't collapsing as was predicted by the mainstream in past years. As we have said before, the much better explanation for this phenomenon in the Arctic is the fact that Earth's magnetic field is weakening and allowing in more solar protons and where they are funneled to the polar cusps, this intrusion is the strongest. As Earth's magnetic field continues weakening, it will be these polar cusps that continue to take in more and more of the solar particle forcing, which is still apparently ignored by the mainstream. Lastly today, folks, we've got an excellent article tracking the details of how geomagnetic storms impact the cardiac system. There have been over 200 studies demonstrating the clear increase in negative cardiac outcomes during solar storms, but this one tracked the blood chemistry and blood pressure markers that changed along with the change in solar storm behavior. It's popular for the incredulous to say correlation is not causation, but that has gone out the window with this topic. Again, as Earth's magnetic field continues dropping, this sun-heart connection will be exacerbated as well. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 5.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.